Hi folks, welcome back to the shop here at Project Pine Hills. Today we're talking about this Kiwi's Circuit Breaker Finder. You can see the part number is KT301P. A quick look at the back of the box. You can pause the video and check out everything it comes with. And it's made in China. Now this is new, Kiwi sent this to me. I'll have a link in the video description so you can check it out. All right, as we open this box, you can see it comes in this nice hard shell case. We open it up, you can see it has a nice foam insert in there and a zipper pouch up top. Now the basics of this tool is it comes with a transmitter and a receiver. You plug this transmitter into a receptacle and you take this receiver to a breaker panel and you look for the breaker that controls that receptacle. Now this is just a transmitter. We plug this in and this is a receiver. If I even put this receiver near here, you'll see it starts detecting that transmitter if I just put it nearby. In fact, we can go over here to the wire and you can see it can pick up that signal from the transmitter. Now this is really five tools in one. There's a lot of other features of this tool, but what we're gonna do is jump right into a circuit breaker finder demonstration, and then we're gonna come back and talk about the four other tools that this has built into it and some of the other specific product features. All right, let's try the circuit breaker finder. First, we press and hold the on off button. That's the red button. We turn it on, and then plug it in to the receptacle. You can see we get that solid green light. It starts reading the voltage. It shows it's wired correctly. You can see that radio animation showing that the transmitter is transmitting. Now let's go over to the breaker panel. All right, we're at the breaker panel. The first thing we're gonna do is turn on this receiver. We press this on off button right here at the bottom, press and hold, turns on, we get the green light. We go up here to the breaker panel and we start scanning the breakers. Right now we're in learn mode. That looks like a potential candidate. We keep going down both sides of the breaker panel, scanning, it's learning the breakers right now. Okay, then we pull back for about three seconds. I'm gonna come back in. Now it should be in locate mode. And we're gonna see what it does here. All right, we see it beeped on that one to go back up. All right, let's see if that's the breaker. All right, now you see that the transmitter light is flashing. That's the correct breaker. And we come back to the receptacle, you'll see the green light is flashing. If we unplug it from the receptacle, you'll see it automatically holds that reading. And I can press that red button to reset the reading, plug it back into the receptacle, and you'll see it shows no voltage reading and the green lights out because there's no power. We flip the breaker back on and now we see it starts reading the voltage again and that green light comes back on showing it's wired correctly. Now, if you wanna start over and rescan the panel, all you need to do is tap this reset button. We tap that, it'll beep and you'll notice these bars start going up and down again. You can rescan the panel. All right, here we are at the next receptacle. It's still got that hold reading on it. There's no need to reset that. You can just plug this in and it'll start taking a reading. Here you see we have a solid red light. It's given a fault. We can pull this out. It's gonna hold that reading. And if we look here, you'll see the N and the L are flashing and it shows reverse here on the right. That means that the neutral and the line wire, the hot wire are reversed. So we're gonna to have to fix that. Now, one thing you'll notice is when this is plugged into a receptacle that's wired correctly, you see this animation here that shows that the transmitter is working. But notice on this receptacle where the neutral and the line are reversed, it doesn't show that radio animation up here but it is still transmitting and the receiver will still pick this up. All right, so hopefully that demonstration was helpful. And you might notice the Kiwi is similar to this Klein Tools, which has this receiver and transmitter as well. And you can plug this transmitter into the base of the receiver. The Klein also has this receptacle tester. You can press a button and turn it on. And basically, Kiwi has taken this transmitter and this Klein receptacle tester and combined them into one device. So when you press this to turn this guy on, it gives you the features of this climb receptacle tester, but then they've also integrated the transmitter into this as well. So it's all in one tool. And I do like that idea. So to use this receiver, we just press and hold this on off button and that will turn the unit on. You see it turns on and then it starts flashing. And you also see there's a flashlight button here. If we just press that flashlight button momentarily, you'll see it gets a flashlight that comes on the front. If I press that button again, it turns off. And up here we have that reset button that you can reset after it detects a circuit breaker, but also has a non-contact voltage tester. That's that NCV. If we press and hold this button, it goes in that non-contact voltage mode. You can see it right there on the display. And if we go up to any hot wire, it'll detect that wire to start flashing red and make that beeping sound. You can see the display itself even turns red or orange. So this is really two tools in one. Now to turn it off, we just press and hold that on off button. So Kiwi's has two features in its receiver where Klein's is just a receiver. Now, if we look at the transmitter, we turn that on, check out the display here. Right now, you'll see the L is blinking. That's the line wire or the hot wire it's trying to detect and it shows it's open because we're not connected to any voltage right now. But you see, if I take this and I plug it into the surge protector, now we can look at how this works. Now, if you look here, you'll see N, L, and E. That's N is for neutral, the L is for line or the hot wire, and the E is for earth or ground. And you can see it's wired correctly, it has correct right there. And you'll also notice right here, there's an animation 
on the screen. Right here, that's telling you that this transmitter is transmitting. If you don't have power, that animation won't come on. And you can see the voltage displayed up here. In VLN, that's voltage line. This on off button is also a reset button that resets the reading on here. And then we have a test button here that you have to hold down for two seconds to test GFCI. So this is a voltage tester, a GFCI tester, and a receptacle tester, as well as a transmitter all in the one device. And we can compare this Kai Wheats to the Klein's GFCI receptacle tester. You can see the display there. You can see the numbers for the voltage aren't quite as big. It does say correct, voltage AC. So we know that this receptacle is wired correctly. You can see we have the green solid correct light. So it's in the same location on both of these testers. Now one difference is if you press the test button on this Klein, it will trip a GFCI right away. You have to hold the test button for two seconds on the Kai Wheats. Now let's show the whole feature. I'm gonna turn the power off and both of these are gonna hold the reading. You can see the Kai Wheats automatically does it, so does the Klein. The difference is this Klein after about 10 seconds will release the hold, see it goes back to zero. The Kai Wheats holds until you plug it into another receptacle or you hit reset. So if I turn the power back on, you'll see that Kai Wheats starts reading again, it's reset itself, and the Klein, of course it was already reset, it starts reading the voltage again. And you can see this transmitter on this Klein it's just a straight GFCI tester. We have two amber lights here that are showing this is wired correctly. All right, let's compare how these tests for GFCI. Plug in this GFCI receptacle. On the Klein, it shows it's wired correctly. We just tap the test button, trips the GFCI, and it gives you the number of seconds it took to trip, right? So it's 0 0.08 seconds, and the green light is flashing. All right, now let's try that on the Kai Weech. You can see it's showing correct wiring. We're gonna hold down this test button for about two seconds. You can see it kicks the GFCI. The fault light starts blinking red and it shows that GFCI passed. And this is how it would operate if the GFCI failed. We hold this test button down for two seconds. You see the red fault light flash. And now we see an error on the screen and the fault light keeps flashing. Now this Kai Wheats comes with this adapter that doesn't have a ground plug on it so you can remove the ground. And that allows you to use this receptacle tester to test non-grounded receptacles or you can put this on here and then you can screw this into a light bulb socket and then you can test light fixtures. So this is what you'll see when there's an open ground. You have the E flashing and it says open here on the right and the fault light will be on at the bottom. Now I really like this case that Kai Wheats provided. You can put your transmitter in there, put your receiver in there. It comes with these accessories. This is that adapter that allows you to plug this receptacle in and you can then test a light socket. So you can test a light fixture or you can take this off and you can test a non-grounded receptacle there. And they also provide you these wire leads with outer gate clips that allow you to take this, plug this on, and now you can test open wires. You just take the black and white wire, let's say you have a switch or a receptacle that's not wired yet, and then you can clamp this on your hot wire and your neutral, and you can use this to test open wires. Typically you paid extra for these adapters, so I'm glad to see that Kai Wheats included them in this kit. Now this only works on a live circuit. You can't use this as a circuit breaker finder unless you have power. All right, there you have it folks. That's a look at the Kai Wheats circuit breaker finder. I'll have a link in the video description so you can check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this circuit breaker finder. Have you tried it before? Have you had any luck with any other brands? And let me know if the demonstration was any help in this video. And please remember to like and subscribe. Those actions help me to continue to bring content to you here on the Project Pioneers channel. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.